Then the media turned it into something ugly. Oh, you don't belong in a classroom. People like you shouldn't teach. You should be in nightlife. You should be doing porn. And I was like, oh, wait, these people are not serious. the prawn. They really want me yeah, to not have a job. I was saying, we're going to start the thick teacher debate. In essence, the thick teacher debate coincides with what is acceptable I and like what is big. not acceptable. I like them chunky. <laughs> I like them no. big. I like them plumpy, plumpy, plumpy. plumpy. Plumpy is a word? Wait a minute. It is now. Shoot, uh, Moto Moto made it a word. You got to say it twice. Right. Anyways, so if y'all remember... We had oh, two I remember. <laughs> thick teacher videos, actually. So yeah. we're really, we're, you know, both these videos kind of came back with updates. So oh, we're going to kind of bring back. them up again and we're going to kind of compare the two. <laughs> but specifically right. today, we're talking about Roxana Diaz. I'm pretty sure I'm saying the name wrong. I always say names wrong. It's fine. Nah, How you doing, Mr. Diaz? And <laughs> yo, you are not any help I mean, whatsoever. She's doing plumpy. <laughs> I, she, I mean, I bet she is. is it plumpy though? If it's not 100 percent real though, it ain't real. But I mean, it's she, real plumpy. I'm, I'm just pointing out. I'm pointing out what she's advertising. Yo, y'all, Dante's getting kicked off. This is the last video with Dante. Yeah. I wanted to say our points. But look, look, look. The thing is, even though she, she double cheeked up, she was still I'm covered weird. up. You feel me? So yeah. it's like that double enhanced up. In regards to her, from the last video, is that again? She's a teacher of. Students who really don't care about what her body looks like. Yeah, she's young. Um, yeah, middle school she's young or preschool, kids, so they don't I don't know. Yeah, they're very young. Yeah, kids that yeah. will not even bat an eye no, at her figure. Exactly. Yeah. Her figure will have nothing to do with those kids. It's not yeah. like if she was teaching like high school. Or exactly. Like so, situation. in the grand scheme of things, this whole controversy coming up with her really doesn't matter. At least as far as education wise goes, but of course parents. Right, because ultimately she's doing the job that they want I mean, to do. The controversy came because of how much it mattered, right? To I the mean, parents, to, to, to some but that's parents, not the right. That's not the real issue here. Yeah. If we're concerned about the kids, like no, you no, said I'm aware of what you're saying. There's okay. the underlying, and then there's what's being addressed. I, I'm, aware, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm uh, aware. Right. So yeah, I just want to bring it up. So now that you know our thoughts, uh, we'll continue with the video that yeah. they have of her. <laughs> All right, let's get going. I'm Roxana, known Roxana. as Miss A by my students, and I teach elementary school. I became an art teacher because I really feel as though I have a purpose mm. that's more than <laughs> just teaching them sure. about art. It's being <laughs> present, being aware, and being a part well, of Why are you starting like that, bro? Yo, hold on. The day my <laughs> viral <laughs> photos Oh, no, no. Nah, nah, go back, go I, back, go back. This go man back. keep moving For the what? thumbnail every time nah, I, I need you on to the go screen. Back. So I got it. Oh. I'm moving it so you can see the teacher better. No, I can see her on the left. That's not what I'm talking about. I said the left and right. The middle and right of the screen. I'm trying to Left or right what? The audience has a cinematic experience. While seeing Set our face, experience. that's what we're here for, right. okay? Continue. You're trying to give us the panoramic? Like, right. Speaking out for the first time in an exclusive interview since that photo went viral, please welcome Roxana to our show. Thank you for trusting me. I know people have been reaching out to you. Yes, they have. <laughs> um, I first saw it over the summer in a tabloid. Um, I came up in my social mm -hmm. media feed, the teacher... Um, that should be expelled, I think, was one of the headlines. It was posted about a year ago. It started going viral long after the well, picture that's was what taken. I, that's the point I was making. The picture mm -hmm. was taken. It sat on, you know, mm -hmm. somebody's Facebook page. And then all of a sudden, it's out there for the world to judge mm -hmm. you. How did you first learn? Wait, you got something to say? <laughs> nope. He did not just say that sentence that way. He Yo, I was... He really just said it sat on somebody's face. Book. book like what, what? Like, yo and i'm just staring at it like what you mean by that like, <laughs> I, I was trying to ignore it because i didn't want to be the one this time bro she really picked wait the this word. time that was Hold the on. worst sentence to say so brian <laughs> well brian you, no, see, you guys are both medicine Hold uh, on. you see her claim is just that this picture is around for at least a year so maybe you might have stumbled across it before i don't know I for mean, all the right reasons. Don't, yeah, don't, I've never saw it. I don't think until, I'm just looking up tick teachers. Um, for until it started mm. going viral, I've never seen it before in terms of that image at all. Mm. So maybe you might have saw it, but nobody was really talking about it that much. Yeah, because she was just a thick person on the internet like all the other models Until on the internet. she was a thick Where, I wonder how many people sat down and faced this picture. I mean, it was sitting on somebody's face. Facts. Anyways. Um, when people were tagging me on these things, it was a mm. lot of positive 
I'm thinking I'm doing something. As far as like, yeah, I look great. Let me show curvy women how to dress appropriately. So you saw this as body positivity. You're a yes. teacher, you're a professional, you're yes. doing what you love, and this is body Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me just, I have to say this, all right? Yeah, I'm wait, I was waiting for you back, to interject. Back in the day, right? Because yep. like as we said this in the last video, we've all had thick teachers. Before yeah. you continue making your point, I just want to make sure y'all know that he's saying it, not me. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get us all in trouble right now. Back in the day, we had the teachers mm. with the ankle slappers, the <laughs> knee breakers, the floor draggers. Okay? <laughs> we had them. All right? yeah, we, and we they were them. not wearing that. I'm just saying that. Nah, right? And I they, mean, shoot, they weren't looking that fine, but I mean, they were huge. <laughs> I was hearing an outcry about why the heck Miss Aberdeen got the biggest chest in the market. Like, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Well endowed. But if the if the if the teacher looks good, or at least in terms of the demographic as to what attractiveness looks like, everybody has an issue with it. The kids have no idea what's going on. They're just like, "Ooh, this is my favorite teacher." The parents are like, "How oh, dare she have bigger breasts than me?" <laughs> like, then there's yeah. the problem. The breast weren't the only thing bigger. Bro. I mean, I ain't talking about the bottom. I feel like myself. this this has to be more so with the enhancements personally, because. Well, I did have that hot young teacher. She's trying to enhance all the boys fond over, and she enhanced their body. Yeah, yeah. And okay. now everybody's ego got inflated too. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a lot going on. Don't. A lot don't. of things coming to the surface. Seriously, service. ego inflated. Seriously. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Bro. But it's true. You, you get, over here, Beyonce. Because oh, you got know, there's ego. no way we can look at her and say it's natural, like. But even regardless, even if she was naturally curvy, you know, this I can but, see the situation still playing out for her in the first place. I don't know why this is becoming a thing now. Because I've had that young, hot, you bussy me. teacher. It and we were like older. It. We were at the point where we know she's attractive. So it's exactly. like... And she... And then she I think I know the teacher you're talking about. Oh, yes, you I know that. exactly who you're talking <laughs> about. I used to sit in her <laughs> class, bro. Like, yo, was out. I mean, all the guys sit quietly in the class. <laughs> There's very many reasons yes. as to why. I remember one time she came over to my desk to help me. My chest got man warm over here like... Oh. I don't know the answer. I just, <laughs> you know, if she stumbles across it, anyways. Cause the issue she don't know what I'm talking about. We never said I'm a girl name. Man, no, anyways. <laughs> anyways. We never said a name. <laughs> you got your age range now. <laughs> <laughs> but and then, but then you started to get the vicious comments. Mm -hmm. oh, it right, kept right. tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. And I think that the picture went so viral in the beginning that people, people. People, not me, people wanted to keep it going, mm -hmm. to keep getting whatever likes, whatever comments, whatever they were getting on their pages. How is this impacting the life at school? Because um, obviously kids are on social media, their parents are on social mm -hmm. media. Hey, man, when did it start Gosh. to become a concern for those around? It, it became a concern when the tabloids turned everything into something ugly versus look at this curvaceous, beautiful teacher, look how she can dress, being turned into she should not be a teacher. She should be a stripper. She should be a bartender. She should be a porn star. You see, the thing is, there was another video a while back with another teacher who was fairly attractive, right? That caused a lot of attention on the internet. Might not have been the exact... Might not have... It wasn't the exact circumstance as this lady right here, but because of how nice her body was, she wasn't dressing provocative, but people had an issue with her standing amongst kids. But we have to remember... Little children aren't thinking the way our adult minds is thinking. Exactly. They don't have the same they ain't even reactions. Hit puberty. But that same instance happened with that other lady as well. Like she was getting ridiculed and everything for like genuinely just being nice, curved, having a good body. I mean, yeah, and everybody was just like, Whoa, you were standing in front of children? But she's not doing nothing provocative. That's yeah. just her figure. It's just natural it, figure. The issue is it sounds like a lot of projection, honestly. That's the whole point. Yeah. And again, it feels like picking and choosing. Yeah. Basically. Because, like I said, I'm sure there's thousands of other teachers like her. Maybe natural. Yeah. Maybe. But, well, yes, there's thousands of teachers out there that are natural. I nah. wanted to make sure you included Just that because like, you was about to get us yeah. Well, it's, it's including both fired. natural and unnatural <laughs> that look like her. Yeah, yeah. And they're not being blasted in public figures. Probably because she has Instagram and people want to... Use yeah. her. I know, but as I, a could, I could just imagine yeah, how many teachers going to watch this video and they'd be like, maybe. Yeah, but it's like that social media point that I was saying before. Like, the kids are how young? Like, I highly doubt they even know where the teacher's Instagram is in the first place. Yeah. Jalea, um, when you took the picture, why did you take the picture? Facts. <laughs> well, honestly, it, 
it was just like an innocent thing. It wasn't, you know, to Yo, what? No, 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 no. make something bigger than what it was. It was just like, oh, okay, I'm a parent. I'm in the classroom. I see all this good going on. You know, my kids love it here. So it was just one of those things. You posted it because you felt she was doing a good job with the kids. When you learned, no one was seeing the kids in that photo. They saw her and was attacking her. Did you feel bad? Yeah, I'm one of the parents that hopped on and yeah. started like defending her Good. and snapping mm -hmm. and you know doing what I felt like was right, like for them to like not Close bash me. her because of her body and like. I mean, so she didn't think it was that deep, but since but the angle you took the picture and of all the pictures you could start with, that wasn't your best choice. Because the thing is. There is the context of the picture, yes, but either any way you caught that lady front or back, you know what I'm saying? She's curvaceous all around. Obviously, yeah, yeah, I get that. Obviously, we but you had the, to take her from the back. We seen the picture that sat on the face. All right? we, I we know we know the context of that. <laughs> and then yeah. obviously, the you know the parent herself didn't think it was gonna be that big. Of a deal. But what it, no, hold? How did you not that big of a deal? The whole point is big things that are they dealing with? <laughs> like <laughs> not to say big things. So I'm trying to figure out the process behind this, right? Because yeah, she yeah. clearly posted a photo, but the photo she was posting beforehand, this is Roxanne I'm talking about, mm. never got this attention. No, so because this it was person her own posted, thing. Right. Yeah, she posted it to where it was able to be shared, and she advertised this is the teacher that's teaching her kids. So that's right? what really triggered this. Yeah, that's and then it was okay. like, there's a teacher built like this? Taking pictures like this? Mm. Right? But Obviously, we know on her own private Instagram she has pictures kind of, you know, right. to a provocative extent, her and send you in body. But yeah. what a teacher does outside of their profession, you know what I mean? That's their own thing. Because I've seen plenty of teachers take pictures like that outside of the job. Right. Obviously. Yo, I'm going to just cut in and say this. You're not about to tell me that she just took that as an innocent gesture, bro. She was thinking in the back of her head, look at this. This doesn't look natural or normal. And you just took... The, yo, I mean, you know she what? Likes I'm her. assuming. Okay, yeah, I'm assuming she that likes her th this seems her. like the answer. Let me not claim. Let me not claim. But yeah, yeah, the way you do, but the way that just happened, it seemed as if you wanted some type of viral attention because out of every picture you chose to take, I mean, the thing is, she did. It, it seemed like she put the photos out or put it out in general in terms of, um, I guess the community seeing it. Yeah, you used to enthrall and butt cheeks to play the game. It's cool. Nah, nah. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? I decided to switch things up. Because every time we do poker while the video's playing in the background, we never fully pay attention and things get lost in translation. So, actually, so what, to the focused. game or the video? Both. That's the thing. So Speak it's harder to edit because we're not actually paying attention to the game properly. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, fine. Me then. Thanks. I don't pay attention. So, <laughs> All right. uh, so in the beginning, oh, and I want to say really quick, the photograph that she took is of the entire classroom right, it right. is not only of me but it has been cropped yeah, over and over okay. and over and over and over again to the point that it's like oh she has i'm sorry the things yeah. you do are what you know now right yeah, yeah. well we know more now, now it makes sense yeah, now it yeah. makes sense I, I just want to point out it seems like roxana gave consent for that photo to be put out there yeah but not she didn't expect that but yeah and it was supposed to class. advertise her class and her being a teacher within it and then just like just like what they said somebody saw this image months down the road cropped it out and be like oh that's how these teachers get down now like and then it just right, it just right. went off it right. takes one person like and yeah. then everything that was very like innocent becomes drastically crazy to sum it up, you can see how easy it was for people to find one little thing about this woman and then just completely exactly. demonize her, yeah. completely warp the narrative. Because it's clear she's yeah. a good teacher. Yeah. Absolutely. Their kids, are, uh, it, they would have fired her. At this point. Hey, you yeah. want to know what's so crazy about it? They found more problems with this teacher than we found cards on the table during the game we're supposed to be playing. Like, that's wild. Well, like, guess who we're waiting on to bet? Guess who we went out to bed? Yeah. <laughs> Jump, thank you. Talking that hot ish. Uh huh. <laughs> I was over here like, nah, they didn't throw that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got you. that. Uh, Who put a black? But, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I dropped it. I dropped it. Oh, I was like, man, I'm about uh, to fall. But so here's the thing, right? Yeah. So we we keep preaching that oh we're trying to help the kids, we're trying to do all of that lovely stuff. Yeah. But then look how the kids were hurt by those actions. Yeah. By it's the like they're in fear that they're gonna lose. They're gonna their lose teacher. their teacher. They clearly uh, don't really care too much about this extent. They know that she's just got popular for something weird. They don't fully understand it because they're young kids. Exactly. So that's that's, that's negative publicity. He's not helping the te the school either. Nah. But and I mean, ultimately, you see, she's been able to spin it into into a positive direction because if it went in a negative direction, things would have been going south for her. But it clearly is not. 
So, you, I mean, we saw the Instagram. She's had a million followers. You know for a fact she was not at that before. She went viral. Her virality got her there. Have you ever come, baby? Dang. It was good fool, good fool. I did not expect mm-hmm. that, honestly. I had a jack. You're going to set me up. Y'all going to see that I can't see at that angle back <laughs> and then just mean? not say a word. Bro, so look you, up. I thought you had 2020. <laughs> look differently. I don't know. Look like, differently. Nobody told you put big meat mic in <laughs> Yeah, you should be happy. You got the big meat. My, I should be happy. Yo, what? Pause. Nah. Pause. No pause. Here's, here's a comparison though, right? <laughs> back getting back on top. Yo, get that out of my face. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> that PTSD was strong. Wait, wait, wait. What you mean PTSD? Yo, get out of here. Get out of here. You can't. Tell, you can't. Tell. I don't know how. Look how hey, yo. you know you got just mothers or. Just outsiders defending this teacher. That's about it. But the hate is overwhelmingly bigger than the people that's supporting her. Right. But look at this Ontario or Oakville um, high school oh, yeah, teacher yeah, yeah. who gets all this love and support the wearing teacher. these gigantic, and again, this is uh, one of our other Thick Teacher videos, Thick yeah. Teacher Nightmare, actually, wearing this huge prosthetic. Yep. And she's getting all this support. Yeah, oddly, and she's getting support from the system. The students and the parents all have issues with what she's being able to do. Cliff, for some reason, her outfit, well, her attire is being viewed as a dress code violation. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, right? Besides that, th- you know, they're not seeing how she's coming off as a dress code violation, which is absolutely bizarre. Because the whole point is, is that she's wearing huge prosthetics, right? Which means that they're not real, they fake. So it's just like her, her transitioning, that's not the issue. It's how she's advertising herself coming into the class. It's clearly not, you know, a lot of people, especially the kids are uncomfortable. Ultimately, the kids are the priority when it comes to the education system. And they're clearly not being heard, and it's going to just disgruntle them and frustrate them. And then now, there's a little update that we heard about it where apparently there's a bomb threat. At the school. Well, do you want to put that in his own video? I mean, in a way, it's just it's just opening up with it. It's right. not it's not going in nothing crazy, but it, it's it's just you see these extremes here. You, you're not hearing nothing about something like that happening with this teacher here per se, since it seems like all of the staff and the students are rocking with her and the parents. I mean to say, so they don't have an issue with her physique. She's doing her job. That's pretty much what's going on. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Uh, the other teacher is clearly an issue. And it's and it's like we're, we're trying to make it seem as if this isn't a problem, but it is a problem because what is what is going on here? What's going on here is, and the thing you I thought you would mention is the fact that she is a transgender How individual. That? That's two hundred. Two hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah two hundred. Well, you know what I'm about to do. Three hundred. Yeah. Right, so yeah, you didn't mention the fact that she is a transgendered individual. So yeah, no, I did. I was like, the, oh, the, the see, I was so focused on. But no, as the reason yeah. that you said that, but the reason as to why she may be getting this support. Oh, because she is transgendered, right, right, right. Right. Obviously, so I is that the reason, it. or is it because Canada has different methods of supporting the teachers than people in America? Nobody really knows, but it's clear that. People pick and choose when they want to support. There is that true. I mean, the staff is helping her as well. I mean, not the staff, the the board, pretty much, since they're allowing this to go forward, which is really wild. I'm going to win this, but I want to see what he got. Damn. Where? where? Oh, sure. I'm going to sacrifice it just for curiosity. Straight. Mm. Straight. I I did not see that. Wait, what did you say? Straight. Straight. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I did not see that. Jaquan coming with the heat today. Don't worry. You got your chips. You bet for Okay, 400 at the end. Jeez. Yep. Hold on. Let's let the audience see. I already knew he had yeah. something. I just wanted to see what he had. I was not. That brain got I did out not expect that at all. But yeah, so you can see these parallels. So why, First of all, why do you guys think this, these parallels are occurring? Why, why is there these differences in how... Yeah, I mean, obviously, how she looks, she isn't, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the video or not, but she doesn't look natural to me, obviously, you know, the, the, the thick teacher. Let's, let's remind right? every, first, let's remind everybody how Roxana Diaz looks. Like. <laughs> Just, why not? You trying to remind everybody or you trying to remind yourself, bro? True. Who said I forgot? I'm weak. Exactly. <laughs> I'm this I'm is what she looks like. Write these, these, write these down, sir, write these down. This, uh, we're blocking her, but it's okay. 
This is what she looks like. All right, that's it. That's enough. YouTube. Just and let's just remind everybody what the thick teacher from. Nah, we not. I never said that. no. Dang. Nah, you gotta. I don't even want. You know, you know what you gotta show. So for the audience's viewing pleasure, this is the other teacher that we're talking about. Whoa, that's bean bags. All right, there we go. That's it. All right, all right. <laughs> Come on. YouTube what are we? Guidelines, everybody. YouTube guidelines. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> Uh, beanbags are either used to cure black eyes <laughs> or to hurt people. Hurt my eyes. Jeez. But, but I guess yes. she's, what is she using it for? Pain or pleasure? Who knows? I mean, look, if she used it. Buoyancy? Her, no, if she used it in her own personal time for her own personal endeavors, nobody would care. The issue is she's bringing it into a school environment. It's not good for the kids. The kids are older. This is also what brings this more into a debate here, which is why the defense of her is kind of idiotic to me. Because you're dealing with high school kids who are going through puberty and are clearly having a big issue with this. Because it's like, they're not trying to see this. They're not learning. But the issue, case in point, is just this isn't it. There's clear issues. There's people complaining about this being a serious issue. And they're just letting it rock. She's getting a lot of defense. Why do you think that, though? I'm not too sure. I'm assuming it's in defense of the fact that she's trans. But it's like, it's when you get to abuse the, the rights that trans community has been fighting for. Because this is blatant abuse is what they've been fighting for. Honestly. Because it, it's, just like, it's just like what I feel it is. It just seems like a fetish in terms of how she's operating. I mean, and, and it's prosthetics. They're not real. That's the whole thing. So... It's not something that through her transitioning process is something that she um that she garnered on her body, right? Because we know plenty of trans people who after they transition they grow breasts and stuff like that. Yeah. But this person is clearly using a fake set, right? And the issue is with it too is just it's egregious. It's not even like it, like a B or C or something. And here's it's my ridiculous. thing, right? <laughs> here's my thing. You already was gonna get attention regardless just because it's prosthetics off rip. Yeah. There was no denying that attention was going to be there off rip. Number one. Hold on one second. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> it's all you, bro. Show them what you got. Yeah, I thought the flush was out there. I almost, almost, almost. Had almost. It. Almost. I already had four diamonds. I just need one more. The thing is, I would have won because I had an ace. So I, you did? I wasn't going to risk it. Right. Wait, and secondly, to add on to my point, right? Yes. It's more like piggybacking off what Jaquan said. Number one, your prosthetics is like rather overdone. Like, uh, and reaches. Like, yeah, that is, like that's that, no. it's beyond what the normal procedure is. Why is look that like. around kids? And two, that, like, dang, bro, let me say it. Oh, my bad. <laughs> like, yo, you, right. I get it. You got high. the highlights, but yeesh. Let me, uh, we, but yeah, no, no, he's right, though. He be stealing No, no, he's right, though. He's right, though. He's right. But he is right, though. Mm-hmm. I want to so, highlight, but you are right. So here's my thing, right? Here's what I think. I think this is two sides of the same popularity coin, right? One people could find popularity from defending, and then another side could find popularity from attacking. So basically, what you're saying is the matter of being famous for it and then becoming infamous for it. Like famous for yeah. it because you're doing something, you're standing up for something that's actually your right, and then the infamous because you're doing it in a way where so many technicalities could come in. Yeah. You got side A versus well, side B. You basically cause the Democratic versus Republican fight all over again. And this is well, the two opposing sides. Honestly, yeah. they're both they both obviously became infamous for said thing. But I feel like in terms of um, Roxana, it's going to go more in a positive direction. As you can clearly see, the situation isn't as big of a deal as it, as they have been making it to be. Yeah. And, and obviously, you know, she got to keep her job. And then in terms of what she was doing outside of her job, her endeavors have just been going up. So ultimately, it's been more of a positive for her. While in terms of the trans teacher's case, I don't know her name. But the issue with her is just obviously the exposure. You're seeing this kind of blanket being coveted uh, uh, on her where she's pretty much being defended against all these issues even though the parents and the students are all having issues with this and they're also bringing in pretty good claims in terms of what about dress code for young girls and boys here in terms of what's appropriate and what is inappropriate because you know dang as well if any of them young girls was doing the same thing she was doing whole problem you know what i mean or is the whole what if a guy brought a fake ding you know what I mean? He has a little cucumber inside hey. his pants. It's going to become a problem. That actually brings up a good point. And then you walking around with the mandingo bulge around kids all day. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy to me. I'm like, just saying. What if, it was a me- what if it was a trans man that did something like Now that? we have they a whole different argument because that's public indecency at that but point. The interesting or thing borderline is, in there at the bare minimum. Not, not to cut you off, Brian. No, we're seeing the defense of... We're getting to see how things affect a woman 
Because, you know, a lot of times when it comes to, like, um, aiding, like, there's always support when it comes to rallying around women. And then, at the same time, also the, the situation with a trans woman, too, right? Mm-hmm. How much defense can one person get? Which is ridiculous. Even the board is assisting her. So it's just like, when it's clearly a problem. Uh, so you brought up the uniform, right? And the unfairness of both. Yeah. So notice how Roxanne Diaz, there was no mention of her breaking dress code. No, she right? said herself, she's been totally fine this whole time. Yes. She's been appropriate. But if you look at the dress code in the Oakville High School for yeah. the uh, transgendered high, uh, Oakville teacher, I don't even need to say that. I could just say Oakville teacher. She... They, they, students, uh, the students are accusing her of breaking dress code. Yeah, because I mean, the dress code clearly states certain parts of the body cannot be visible through clothing. Yes, and, and she's her, clearly her, her breaking that rule. Her nipples are just piercing. Exactly. Now, let me interrupt to ask this one question. I don't care what you are, where you come from. What in your right state of mind made you think it was okay to have that type of exposure around kids? I don't care what age they are. Why did you think? You had to consciously sit down and go through with the thought, this is the outfit I'm going to go for today. This is the type of people I'm going to be around, yes. the individuals yes. who's not even That's at an adolescent point yet, and I'm going to walk no, around them are. like this all day? They Come are on. adolescents. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. Adolescent, like not even full adults, like they're still yeah, minors. But this That's what I was trying to say. They're yeah. still minors. And you won't be around them all day like that? Because an example Come is, on. it's just like we was mentioning with the ankle breaking teachers. You know what I'm saying? We point. had no, nah, nah, that's the issue. We've had like oh, talk to him. <laughs> we've had ridiculously built teachers in terms of like being heavy set, especially in the chest area. Mm-hmm. But they've always covered them up. Well in those, I don't, right? I don't remember I ever think that's seeing the term a for teacher it. right who had a comparable breast size to Miss Trans teacher with her prosthetics. I never saw no nips. True. Not, not a day in my life. True. I can't remember. Me neither. So it's just like because it's not appropriate to do so in a school environment around teenage growing kids is a problem. Now, so just so we don't sound a hypoc- like a hypocrite, in the previous video, yeah. we definitely said that if you got it, you can't hide it. We know it. Yeah. This is different. <laughs> this is a prosthetic. As long as, so just, yeah, just as, long as you're within dress code, her nips are out. You know what I mean? If they told her, cover those things up or don't wear them. You know, you know what I mean? Like... Because I'm pretty sure all the women teachers are wearing bras or something. But she ain't. But my, my whole point you was... You're not shuffling next game. Clearly, it's egregious. That, that's, that's my whole point. And it's clearly egregious, and they're allowing that. So, again, it's... They're doing it in my... This is my opinion entirely. Mm. Just either to garner reputation or support. And I'm not talking about the actual people that are doing it. Not talking about Roxana. Not talking... I don't even know the name of the trend. That's sad. Oakville Probably. trans teacher. Oakville trans we'll teacher. Name, I, that's so sad. Uh, I, not them. The people that are defending them or attacking them, they're doing it for popularity, which is the other point I'm trying to bring up. Because you guys had brought it back to the individuals. I'm talking about the people surrounding them that are making them popular, making them to us even now. We're doing this either to say, oh, I support women. Look at me. Mm. This is obviously a oh, reputable oh, school oh, to go to because yeah, I'm defending right, right. this woman. I in, I encourage inclusivity, right. and then there's other people like, oh, I am bashing this woman because I want to take care of our students. I respect students. We need to fight this type. Honestly, of Honestly, it all boils down to one freedom. thing: freedom. Mm. You have to learn how to do what you do for yourself without crossing certain boundaries. There's a limit. It's about finding a balance. Um, hip hop artist Fat Joe, who's coming on our show soon uh, to talk about his memoir. He was one of the people who sent love and support. Here's what he said. Okay, okay. Take a look. Let me hear my boy cry. New he Jersey, said. they got a sister, school teacher. They trying to fire her because she's too sexy. <laughs> <laughs>